welcome to our program preview series. Each week we'll be highlighting one of our seven focus programs to hear how you'll get more in just four years. My name is Riley Little and I'll be your host for today. This week we'll be exploring the Justice Studies program and here are the top five takeaways that you need to know. Students earn both an Honours Bachelor of Applied Science in Justice Studies from the University of Guelph and a diploma in either Community and Justice Services or in Police Foundations from Humber College concurrently within four years of full-time study. Now in this program you'll choose your diploma pathway going into your second year, the same year you start your first of two placements, which by the time you finish will total 200 hours. Courses throughout your four years will include law, police powers, criminal justice, and psychology. Now one of the coolest things about this program are its facilities. It has a crime scene investigation lab equipped to study forensic and investigative techniques so that you can actually stage a murder, role play from the minute the police get the call to when the perpetrator is arrested to when charges are laid in moot court. Finally, to help you with your placement and career exploration, the University of Guelph Humber hosts the largest justice career networking fair in Canada. Joining me today to talk more about the Justice Studies program is the program head, Dr. Gary Ellis, and the assistant program head, Dr. Glenn Hanna. Both have extensive histories working in policing before obtaining their PhDs and joining the University of Guelph Humber. Thank you so much for being here today. Before we get started, I was wondering if you could tell us just a little bit about yourself. Well, hello everyone. I'm uh, Dr. Gary Ellis. I'm the program head of the Justice Studies uh, area at the University of Guelph Humber. Uh, my background uh, is varied. Um, I was a police officer for 31 years. I spent most of my time in Toronto. Uh, I was head of homicide, sex crimes. I uh, spent some time working at the RCMP and the Combined Forces Special Enforcement Unit. And I spent two years working for the FBI down in Quantico and uh, did a lot of international work. And the way I dealt with my stress was I went to school continually and I got my doctorate uh, quite some time ago. And when I retired from policing, I thought, hmm, what am I going to do now? And I realized that uh, I've been very uh, fortunate to have the background history um, that I had. And I wanted to give back in some way. And I discovered the University of Guelph Humber and have been here for quite some time, um, really pouring into the future. Who is you? The potential students, the students who come through. And uh, my goal, I know uh, Dr. Hannah, who's going to speak to you in a second, our goal is to actually uh, pass on everything that we've been fortunate enough to learn uh, to the future and uh, to help make the world a better place. So, Dr. Han, I'll give it to you. Thank you. And uh, similar to Dr. Ellis, uh, my background uh, started off in, in policing. Uh, I was in the Royal Canadian Mounted Police. I worked in uh, general detachment duties and highway patrol uh, in British Columbia, northern isolated postings, uh, First Nations communities, Inuit communities. And then for something completely different, I left a small community of about 400 people and moved to Toronto. Uh, where there was about 1,200 police officers in the building. Uh, that was a culture shock. And uh, in Toronto, I worked uh, organized crime, national security, uh, plainclothes uh, federal work, uh, some undercover work, uh, increasingly senior command uh, positions. And through that, uh, I, I realized that I had a love of learning. I had a love of the post-secondary uh, uh, environment. I went back to school. I got an undergraduate degree in, uh, in justice studies, did a master's in, uh, in leadership with a law enforcement uh, uh, focus, and eventually went on and did my, uh, my PhD. And I've been at the university now for 10 years since, uh, since leaving uh, uh, policing. So it's a great opportunity for me, as Dr. Ellis said, to take those things that, uh, that both of us learned in, uh, in practice and supplement that with the theoretical academic learning that both of us have, have done uh, and bring that to the University of Guelph Humber. Uh, would you mind telling us a little bit about the Justice Studies program and what it's all about? So our program is not limited to one area of justice. It's not for somebody who just wants to be a police officer or somebody who just wants to be a lawyer, because we recognize many of the students are like 17 years old, 18 years old, and you have a general idea you want to do something to make the world a better place, but you're just not sure what you want to do about it. So we provide the opportunity over four years 
for you to learn what you really feel the most comfortable for. So we have people come in and say, I want to be a police officer. When they leave, they're on their way to law school. We have people come in insisting they want to be lawyers. And when they leave, they join the police service. So this is a great time of discovery for you to know what you want to do. And um, the learning outcomes really are such that you're going to have a better view of the world. You're going to have a better view of what's going on, the different issues. We're going to teach you how to write properly. We're going to teach you how to communicate. We do a lot of group work and presentations. And some people feel uncomfortable with that initially. But if you want to survive and do well in this world, you're going to have to learn how to present. So it's a great place to learn, grow. And when you're finished with us, you actually will be well-rounded and able to face the world with your degree from the University of Guelph, your diploma from Humber College. It sounds like this program is the perfect mix of opportunities for students who are interested in justice, but not quite sure of which area yet. To give students an idea, would you be able to talk about the different courses that students might be able to take throughout their four years? Well, our courses are very focused. We have two streams. We have community justice studies. We have police foundations. And in your second year, you can, you will be given a choice. And uh, th those who take police foundations are normally people who want to go into the enforcement side of the justice system. They want to look into, uh, uh, you know, uh, working as a practitioner, enforcing the law in some way, shape or form. Um, th those who uh, take community justice studies are those who want to look at the other side of the justice system, where it's, whether it be helping victims, whether it be an advocate uh, as a lawyer along those lines. And either way, those courses, be they're academic. You're going to be writing essays. You're going to be writing exams just like any university. But they're also very practical. Our professors come from uh, all walks of life. Most of them have other jobs outside of uh, the university, where whether they be lawyers, social workers. Uh, we've had uh, judges. We've had uh, police officers. We have a range of people who are already working in the field where they're going to expose you to what um, the different areas are. Uh, you'll be given an opportunity to do some research. We have different labs. And so it'll be a mixture of theoretical and hands-on uh, work. Uh, over the four years, you'll, you'll have courses like uh, crime scene investigation. Uh, you'll have counseling, conflict management. You look into indigenous issues. Um, th th there'll be a whole range of courses that will prepare you for whatever pathway you take in the end. I know a lot of our justice study students are very involved outside of their coursework. I was wondering if you would be able to talk a little bit about some of those amazing hands-on opportunities available to students. Excellent question. Uh, it really is because this really speaks to uh, a strength of the University of, of Guelph Umber, and that is that mix of uh, theoretical and practical. And on the practical side, right off the get go, uh, before you graduate uh, with uh, your your degree in justice studies, you will do 200 hours of placements, 100 hours in your second uh, year, and 100 hours in your uh, in your third year. Now, these aren't placements that are that we give we give you. You have a course. Uh, you're taught how to do a resume, how to do cover letters, how to make approaches to uh, to potential employers. Now, we also have a list uh, as long as your arm of places that are waiting uh, uh, and looking forward to University of Guelph Humber students coming to them for the placements. But if you have something. Uh, else that you know of personally and you want to do that, you make the pitch. There's an entire uh, 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 infrastructure uh, beyond just your program that is there to support you in your placements. So you go out, you have your classroom uh, study, and then there's time carved out of your, uh, your timetable to actually go out into the world and practice. And we have students that do it in, in, uh, in law offices, uh, with uh, with SIU, with lottery, uh, 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 with SPCA doing uh, uh, doing in, in, uh, bylaw investigations, all sorts of, of issues uh, uh, that people uh, the students get in, get involved in, and we find that a lot of students actually find what it is that they want to do from their placements. There's a whole other range of, uh, of activities, though. Uh, one that's close to my heart is our uh, uh, Criminal Justice Honor Society, Alpha Phi Sigma. 
It's not a uh, it's not a fraternity or a sorority, despite the Greek letters, but it is an honor society uh, to support leadership, academic excellence, and service. And if you are a justice studies student in your uh, minimum of your second year, minimum 75% average, you can make an application to join. And a lot of the social justice activities, uh, Innocence Canada uh, uh, events, uh, used to be the Committee for the Wrongfully uh, uh, Convicted, uh, mental health, uh, Indigenous issues, a lot of our social justice is actually done by Alpha Phi Sigma, led by students, organized by students and presented uh, by students. And it's a great leadership opportunity. We have our pre-law society where we have groups of students that, that travel and host mooting. A mooting is where you are given a case that is going to be or has just been presented to the Supreme Court of Canada. You arrive at the moot and you are then told which side you're going to argue and you argue uh, the, the case before a panel of judges, study abroad. Every year, COVID has uh, had an impact on that, but hopefully uh, uh, in the next year, we will be back uh, on that. And um, the study abroad, we, we, do, uh, we do trips to Ireland, England, Scotland, Italy, France, Spain, Costa Rica. Uh, one that was interrupted by COVID, hopefully we'll be back on when we're back, is Morocco. So these are trips, uh, usually in the spring. Uh, it is a course. It is a, a general elective. You get credit for it. Uh, you pay, uh, it's subsidized by, by the institution, but you do pay a uh, uh, contribution towards it. Travel overseas, usually for about 10 days, uh, keep a research journal, write a report afterwards. For some students, it's their first international travel. For some, it's their first international travel where they're really paying attention to what's going on. Uh, in other parts of the world. So it's a fantastic opportunity to see the world and to learn about the world and look at other uh, other points of view. Uh, CSI Room, uh, Dr. Ellis mentioned about crime scene investigations. We've got a, a small uh, a crime scene room that's set up uh, and uh, and students go in and, uh, and conduct investigations. And that is done extracurricular, but it's also done in part of courses such as investigative techniques and forensic uh, uh, techniques. So it's tied into uh, to after hours and, uh, and classroom work. Now that we know more about the program, Glenn, I'm wondering if you could tell us a little bit about which type of student is best suited for the Justice Studies program and field of study. Well, clearly there's the students who are focused. They are absolutely sure what they want to do. They know they want to go to law school or they know they want to be a police officer. Uh, definitely this program prepared for that. But I think more importantly, this is for a student who's just not sure what they want to do. Uh, they, they've got a general idea that they want to improve the world, to do good things, to be a helper, but they're just not quite sure what that looks like. And this is a wonderful time over the four years to find yourself. And as I said earlier, you can go different directions. The reality is around 90% of our students, I believe, uh, certainly high 80%, within six months are doing something that they want to do. They're happy when they leave. And the rest of them find themselves very shortly thereafter. So I think uh, the type of student we want is one who actually cares. And our marks to get in are pretty high. So we already know that we have good academic students. We want students who want to build on that and even be better when they leave. And beyond just um, the academics, we like people to help build, help people to build character, to understand values and ethics, and just uh, to go, go ahead and make a difference in the world. That sounds like a lot of our prospective students watching from home today. Is there any advice that you can give to those students who are watching? Try to make an effort to visit the institution. It's one thing to get a feel for where you are, what you're doing. Um, the other thing is give a whole heart long search as to what you think your world, you want your world to look like and what you can do to figure that out. Glenn, this is a question for you and it's our last question of the day. Why the University of Guelph Humber? At the University of Guelph Humber, we take great pride in the involvement of our students, in the maturing of our students in the four years uh, that, they're, uh, that they're here. And when you leave here, not only are you, hopefully, you're going to be able to say, hey, look at me, I've got good marks, but 
you're going to be able to say, look at all this other experience that I have. Look at this exposure to, uh, to the field that I'm interested in. Look at all this involvement I've been doing. And that is a real strength of the University of Guelph Humber. This brings us to the end of our first day of the Justice Studies program preview series. I'd like to thank Glenn and Gary for being here today. For those of you who are at home, make sure to stay tuned for more events highlighting the Justice Studies program.